we are the Claire's and welcome to this special mini tutorial all about light painting. So tonight we are going to be shooting with live composite. We are. Um, it's going to be really exciting. I can't wait to see what we're going to get up to tonight. So we have a very special guest joining us. We have the wonderful Michelle Essenson. Hello everybody. Oh, we're so glad that you we could are. be oh, here. I'm and Claire delighted. and I are so looking forward to what you're going to teach us tonight. Tell us. What is it? Well, we're going to do festive light painting oh, tonight. Yes. And I thought we'd concentrate mainly on Christmas trees <gasps> because with Christmas coming up, I thought that'd be perfect. Fantastic. We'll start with something quite simple Brilliant. and then we'll move to a more complex scene. Right, let's get to it. Obviously, we've had to wait until it gets dark. We've left Claire in the garage. Claire's looking after the tools. Let's have a look at the camera. I've got the EM1 Mark III and I'm using the M Zoico 20mm F1.4 Pro. And I've also got a beautifully sturdy tripod. But let's talk about settings. Yep. Um, well, obviously live comp. Yes. And then F8 ISO 200. Right. And then on the live comp settings to either go for half a second or one second. So when you're in bulb and you're on live comp, you press the menu button that takes you straight and directly into the live comp menu itself. And that's where you can adjust the half a second or one second, as we said. The first image, we're going to keep it really simple. Brilliant. We're just going to take bottles. And as you can see, I've got a couple here coloured, covered in cellophane or coloured plastic and uh, this is actually just a milk carton. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> so we wouldn't usually be taking pictures with the video lights on, but we need to video, so bear with us. The lights will go off when we actually do start shooting. Michelle, where do we start? Okay, well, the first thing is, I like to start with the light tool that I'm, when we're doing a simple thing like a tree on. Okay. Uh, because if you imagine, if I hold it steady, that's gonna look be like a block of light. You're gonna get a big highlight there, yes, aren't you? Yes, you get a big, big chunk so of light. So what I want to do is a nice smooth movement. So if you think about it, a tree has a trunk, and then after that, you're going to sweep out to get left and right to get your wider branches you're going to narrow as you go up as a tree would you're going to get to the top of the tree and turn the light off i'm so excited yes, okay so <laughs> let's do it That was so much fun. Takes a little bit of practice, but not massively long you time. You did really well, Claire. Thank you very much, thank you very much. And what have you got there? Well, we, this time we're going to decorate the tree. So we're going to do a slightly more complex image, if festive. you like. Festive. Festive image. And this is uh, just a piece of coloured acrylic rod that transmits the light. And I've got a little holder here for it. Fantastic. And uh, that's going to be like little candle lights on the tree. I mean, it's going to be exciting. We have got a few more bits, but we don't want to give everything away in no. the pre video. So, no. should we get on with it? Absolutely. I'm Come looking on. forward to this. <laughs> so, Claire, okay. you're drawing a tree. So, basically, I'm going to draw the basis of a tree. Um, I'm going to try and keep it to my body shape so I know exactly what the sort of shape is. When I get to the top, I'm going to turn it off so that you know the height. I'm going to pop this down on the floor. So Claire's now the frame for the tree, which means that I can come in behind Claire and I can put the star on the top of the tree so that we have a star. And if you're able to stay like that, if that is comfortable, I, I know exactly where the tree is now. So I can just go round. And so these are those little um, rods the, that you showed this us. This is just a piece of acrylic rod that I've cut and I've got it in a holder and it means I can go round you now and do some... Um, it's almost little candle lights. They're exactly like that. This is a stencil tool. So I've got a Christmas bauble here. Okay. So I'm now going to put some baubles on the tree. So let's see how that's looking and if that's enough baubles for our Christmas tree, we can stop the shot. 
Yeah. How much fun was that? Honestly, we have had such a good time and we've learned so much. We have, and we can now like paint Christmas trees. Yeah, I, I'm going to be doing this all year. You so realise right. that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, so much for having us and for teaching us yeah. how to festive light paint. If you've got some images and you've done some light painting, especially light festive painting, yep. we want to see them. We do. Share them and tag us and we can't wait to see you again soon. Take care.